Well, hello, good people. And please do stop laughing. I cast around for a test rig, sort of looked around the shop, looked at various trailers and bits of cars and realised that the most sensible thing to bolt the engine to was the dear old Vauxhall. And it's been a remarkably simple exercise. Um, it might look a bit silly, but if I was stopped and rushed, I'd probably be selling tickets to the moon in this thing at a quarter million dollars a pop. Anyway, we best see if it runs. Was it out this cylinder? Yes, it did. Right. That's the one that was definitely firing on the impulse on. amazing right it's pissing fuel okay. I'll come around this side bit next time
Switch on. Fuel. It seems quite like being advanced, didn't it? I'll get some advance. Let's see what happens.
well, that was all very satisfying and remarkably easy to get going. We hadn't had a go before. That was the first go. Actually, when you saw it drive out the shed, that was the first time it had been out the shed even. We're working on a bit of a tight schedule this week. And today is the only sunny day forecast. Tomorrow it's meant to be horrible and wet and all the rest of it. And same for the rest of the week. Only one magneto on at the moment. The other magneto doesn't work. So it needs to be rewound before it will do anything useful. This whole contrivance was made out of rubbish that was kicking around the workshop. In fact, on that last run, you might have noticed that a piece of uh, plywood down here broke. Doesn't matter. I'll put something thicker on it. The top is actually bolted to the chassis of the car. If I do that, there we are. The fuel tank, the boat fuel tank a friend of mine gave me. Very useful. If I just point the point the camera, there we are. There's a cross member of the car. I just took the the one floorboard up. So you get to the brake adjusters and I put that clamp across. These are old gate hinges that were cut off. I, they were far too long for another job, but I never throw anything away. So they got art welded yesterday to a piece of steel bar and bolted to the top mount of the motor. And that seems to work very well. Right at the end there, I was adjusting the idle mixture. That's why it was running much slower and probably vibrating a bit more. It doesn't seem to vibrate too badly, even with my homemade propeller. You'll have to excuse the wobble vision, but let's just have a look around for leaks. There was a little bit of oil on the back of the prop earlier. It doesn't seem to be any worse now. Um, that's all right. Of course, the top end I've greased. I haven't put the oil pipes back on it. it would originally have oil feeds into here, but I replaced them with grease nipples. And you can see where the other mag should be. No, it's, it's looking all around the gaskets here and the oil pump and everything. It's remarkably oil tight, much more oil tight than the Jap. I think that's probably because I'm getting much better at making gaskets and been quite fussy about the fit of everything. Anyway, I think that's about it for today. I'm actually going to go down to the airstrip now and get the Oronka out due to it being the one nice day. So as always, Thanks for watching. Do like, comment, subscribe. Tell me I'm an idiot. Nothing I don't already know. Bye-bye.